You guys asked and I'm here to answer. It's time for Ask Christy where I'm gonna answer all of your juicy questions. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and subscribe to become a bestie. So many of you guys have asked me about how to start social media or how to start your YouTube journey. The past few months have literally been insane for me. Hit 80K on here millions of views. I never want to gatekeep because I truly think that there's room for everyone who wants to do social media to be on social media. I think it's so important to remember when you're trying to grow your YouTube channel or your social media presence that it's not going to happen overnight. Now my social media is doing really well, but I literally posted hundreds of videos and pictures on the internet before things started to pop off. I think that the biggest thing with like trying to grow on social media is to be patient with yourself and don't expect to see results overnight and don't give in to comparison. Because even though it might seem like your favorite creators blew up overnight, I can tell you that that doesn't happen. Like it takes years of like planting seeds and getting better or you see people get to that point of like blowing up. So really just be patient with yourself and be consistent. Like those are the two biggest things for having a successful social media career. And if you wanna start getting sent PR packages, I think that it's super important that you not only post consistently, but you also have a niche. So if you wanna get sent beauty PR, then you need to be consistently posting beauty content or reviewing products. So if you wanna get sent PR, you do need to have an email address and have it somewhere like in your bio or somewhere for brands to easily find so that they can reach out to you and contact you to add you to their PR list. Because if you don't have your email or if you don't have it somewhere easy for them to find, they're not gonna be able to contact you. And if you're posting content consistently and brands aren't reaching out, you can always shoot them a DM. I have been loving the Josie Marion body butters. I got sent them in a PR package and they are so good, you guys. I'm telling you, that brand is slept on. First, I love my Sol de Janeiro. I really love the 40 body butter. 40 body butter is one of my favorite scents, but let me know in the comments what your favorite body butter scent is from Sol de Janeiro. I think that fake friends are probably just a part of life. Like we've all experienced a fake friend before. Honestly, don't be afraid to cut them off and meet new people. A great way to meet people is just by like doing a sport and putting yourselves out there, sit next to someone new in class. Keep an open mind when it comes to meeting new people. If you get rejected by your crush, just move on. Like it's their loss. That's the mindset that you have to have. Like don't spend time being sad about it. Just move on from it. Focus on yourself. Get a hobby, do your skincare or sport. Blow up. People realize what they missed out on. Honestly, like don't spend too much time focusing on the fact that your crush rejected you because they just weren't your person. If you wanna make a guy interested in you, boys love girls who are confident and who work on themselves. So if you're trying to get a guy to like you, just focus on glowing up. Do painting, work out, do your skincare. And flirt with him so that he knows you're interested, but don't chase a boy, let them chase you. My favorite concealers at the moment are the Tower 28 concealer and the Ilia Beauty concealer. I use these two concealers and I don't even use foundation anymore. These make your skin look so flawless. So many of you guys have asked for glow up tips and let me tell you, the biggest thing about having a glow up is that a glow up really starts on the inside and feeling confident because when you are confident, that radiates to other people on the outside. Another really easy way to glow up is to start working out, practicing some sort of physical activity. You don't have to go to the gym, do a sport or do some like at home workouts, but that's just gonna make you feel so much better and look better. Also, find a skincare routine that works for you and stick to it. Do that skincare routine consistently so that you can have glowy skin. Thing that I think people underestimate is the power of smelling good. It instantly makes you like so much more attractive when you smell good. So if you wanna smell good all day, find a good scented body butter and a good perfume or body mist and you're gonna turn heads just based off of how you smell. Sol de Janeiro has a lot of really good scents that turn heads. Let me know in the comments your favorite Sol de Janeiro scent. Okay, so my top five drugstore products. I love this powder. I use it almost every single day. This is my go-to number one. She is all I need. Also, Maybelline has a lot of good products. I don't know if I have a top five drugstore products, but my number one drugstore brand is Maybelline. When it comes to dealing with hate from people online or in real life, you literally have to just block out the haters. Remember that you tell people who you are, they don't tell you who you are. Remember that.
I knew who I was from a very young age and I have always been into beauty and makeup and like I've always been a girly girl. So I actually started wearing makeup when I was pretty young. Like I've been wearing lip gloss since forever. Like since I could walk, I was walking and putting on lip gloss. I started sneaking and wearing my mom's mascara when I was in fifth grade. And the girls in my elementary school, they would like call me out on it. Like, oh my gosh, are you wearing mascara? And I would always just deny it because it was kind of embarrassing but mascara was like my starting point for getting into the world of makeup so mascara and body mist those were the products that i like first started out with wearing when i was in fifth grade and obviously lip balm and lip gloss but once i got to middle school i went through this phase where i was super into wearing this really thick gel eyeliner and i don't know i just thought it looked really good but it did not look good looking back on it but we all have to start somewhere, right? I think mascara is like one of the gateway products into makeup. And I think most girls start out with mascara. Many of you guys have asked me what my favorite skincare brand is. And I can't say that I have a favorite skincare brand. I have skincare brands that I really like. I like Supergoop. I love Sol de Janeiro. I like Tatcha. I like Beekman. Like those are all super great brands but i don't have a favorite brand i keep a super open mind when it comes to trying new products though but i can't say i have a favorite makeup or skincare brand i just like to try new things and new brands guys today's scent of the day is 59 by sol de janeiro it's a super nice like warm vanilla scent and i think we're done with the makeup look i'm gonna apply some of this kosas lip oil I love you guys so much. Hopefully I answered most of your guys' questions, but I'm gonna make this a regular series on my channel, Ask Christy. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because so many of you guys have asked me to do a vanity tour where I show you all my makeup, beauty, and skincare products, which I have a lot of. I will be doing that once we hit 100K subscribers and we are so close, you guys. I'm super grateful for all of you guys. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye. Also, I bet you thought the video was over, but plot twist, it's not. Let me know in the comments what other videos you guys would like to see from me because I really want to create the videos that you guys want to see. So if you want to see a room tour or whatever, anything, comment it below so I can film the videos for you guys. Also, Ask Christy is going to be a regular series on my page that I will be doing once a week. So let me know in the comments. Nothing is off limits, you guys. You can ask me about relationships boys friendships school makeup beauty literally anything and i will be answering it if you watch this video all the way through i love you guys comment a pink heart emoji so i can know that you're a real one and you watch this all the way through Thank you bye